There's been a bit of a misconception that's been floating around concerning Shenhe's characterization, specifically the part of her lore which talks about her homicidal nature. Unlike what many people have been saying recently, I don't think this is a mistranslation and it's fairly accurate to matching the intent of the original meaning. I consulted with my Chinese grandma, who is a native speaker fluent in multiple dialects, about the original Chinese version of Shenhe's Story 5, which is the one that mentions this stuff. And he has some kind of urge to his brain that killing is the highest um, instinct in him. You know, he's, he wants to kill and this, this is to hurt people and hurt himself. This is bad character. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she has the urge to kill. Taking this and what else we've seen of her character, the specific wording of homicidal nature seems to actually be very accurate. The dictionary definition of homicide is the killing of a human by another. That doesn't factor in anything about whether there's intent or not. And now, knowing much more about Shenhe's personality through what we've seen in-game, it fits. She doesn't have murderous urges that would entail her going around killing people just because she wants to. She doesn't commit manslaughter because that would imply she is adequately provoked or acts negligently, neither of which are true. Rather, Shenha has an indifferent view on killing. When you are indifferent about something, it means you don't think good or bad about it and have a neutral stance. She won't kill for no reason, but if she does have a reason, she doesn't get that it's a wrong thing to do. There really is no better option for an English translation in my opinion. I can understand why homicidal urges may invoke the idea of a murderer for a lot of people. Any word involving killing will inherently have negative connotations in the mind. But when you break it down and take into account what it's actually describing, its neutral definition very much reflects this complicated situation. So what made people even come to the conclusion that homicidal nature was wildly inaccurate to begin with? Well for one, there is a lot of text to translate in this game. So it was kind of inevitable that there would be some instances of mistranslations that negatively impacted how we as the audience interpreted some dialogue. Unfortunately, this means the translators aren't exactly held in high regard when it comes to their reputation. Then there's the subtle nuances. In Shenhe's Story 5, it explains the two evil fates within her destiny that cause her to be lonely and face many hardships. It seems that from the initial Shenhe reveal, in Chinese, you could pick up on the fact that her fate going against her was part of her character, but there was no way to easily get this across in the brief section within the English version. So they were straightforward with the introduction and translated her killing heart to homicidal nature without including any of the other stuff. So from that point of view, it was reasonable to think that the English line was missing context and that homicidal nature referred to how she indirectly brings misfortune to everyone around her, but that wasn't the case. Thanks to the information that was revealed when she was released, we now know that the two fates Shenhe has and the homicidal urges are distinctly separate parts of her character, and that her fates only cause loneliness and hardship on Shenhe herself. The destiny part is why she is doomed to harm herself, and her indifference to killing is why she is doomed to harm others. Or at least, that's how I think it's meant to be interpreted. Bottom line is, speculation is all good and fun, but always take it with a grain of salt when you don't have the full picture. Even now, I'm not 100% confident that my perspective is the right one, so if you have anything to add to the discussion, I encourage you to comment below. As always, thanks for watching.